Nature's magic is all around us, even here in Britain's largest metropolis, the city of London. Tucked into the hustle and bustle of the city is a pasture in the heart of St John's Wood. And in the middle of that pasture is Jonas Bestus, better known to us as Johnny Besto. He's the last of an endangered species, a rare and magnificent specimen. Nature has provided him a rare combination of high skill and low awareness, a cruel trick, as we were about to find out. Behind Johnny lurks Alex Carey, an Australian predator who's migrated to these shores for Johnny season. Every two years, a motley crew of Australian predators land up on these shores, hungry for blood in a truly astonishing phenomenon. Johnny ventures out of the safety of his lair, wandering about almost aimlessly. Why does he do this? Is it an elaborate mating ritual? It's unlikely. There doesn't seem to be a prospective mate in sight. The most attractive thing in the vicinity is Pat Cummins, another Australian predator and a species apart from our cuddly little Johnny. Is he foraging for food? Perhaps he's poking around with that stick, hoping to coax worms out of the earth. Again, this is unlikely. We've just watched him feast on a meat pie not an hour ago. Why does Johnny wander out? We will never know. And as his species grows ever more rare, our children may never know the answer to one of nature's most puzzling riddles. Alex Carey, lurking behind, sees an opportunity and pounces, mortally wounding Johnny Bairstow when he least expects it. Carey has used the most deadly of all weapons, the element of surprise, so vital to a successful attack. The magic of the modern camera gives us unprecedented access to Johnny's reaction. First, there is bewilderment. He's confused. And once he realizes what has just happened, he feels pained, aggrieved. That vigorous shake of the head, his eyes fixed upon the ground below, is a classic Johnny reaction to an attack. He spits out a small piece of white gum. It has no nourishment or calorific benefit to speak of. And yet he chews it incessantly when he's on the pasture and spits it out as he limps off. Why does he do this? It is yet another Johnny riddle that none can answer.